Hey everybody, Nick here, and today, oh boy, do I have something. <laughs> well, it's gotta be special, that is that, that is for absolute 100% sure. Uh, hold on, let me get everything set up on my end of things. Um, beautiful. So, um, today... Today, we're going to do something a little bit different. Um, my buddy Chris. Uh, Chris, at this point, has become a legend of this channel. Um, he is a person who has continually trolled me in the most very creative of ways. Um, because, I, I don't know, it brings him some sort of joy or another. Um, this is the person who sent along the buck rapid fire. The knife that disassembling it broke me. Um, this is the person who has sent along so many other things that have just been... Oh, my God. Um, recently, I got a package from him. Um, uh, at the old P.O. box, and it was like eight, ten pounds. I'm thinking, what the heck? And then I open it up, and inside this box, surrounded in styrofoam packing pellets, was this. This is eight pounds of knife. Oh, oh my, oh my, oh my. These are all knives that have been taken from people at the, the see, the popcorn, the, the, the freaking peanuts is still everywhere. Because it wasn't even just like uh, styrofoam peanuts, right? It was shredded styrofoam peanuts. I can't even freaking believe it. I, I don't even know. But before we go any further, I want to address the, 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 the elephant in the room, so to speak. Um, right now, it is a, a turbulent time for the world, right? Um, there, there, there is something that is on everybody's mind. It's something absolutely, well, very, very scary. It's something that should be taken, well, you should think about it a little bit. It's from China. Um, but it is since spread over. It is kind of disgusting, and it's very dangerous if you're not careful. I am, of course, referring to the Z Hunter. Um, that, 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 that's right. Um, I know that you guys thought I might have been going a different approach here, but I, uh, frankly, that, 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 that's the thing here, Rob. But the thing is, why don't we just kind of keep uh, all of the discussion of those kinds of things out of today's live stream? I know you guys are going to be chatting. I know you guys are going to be talking about things. And I know that that's what's on a lot of people's mind, not just the Z Hunter, but other such things. Um, but I'd like to try and keep this, uh, an island from that. So let's go on ahead and keep the Corona discussion elsewhere. Let's let this be a, uh, an island of joy in a sea of panic and a place for sanity in a world full of people doing really stupid stuff and a place where we can come together rather than socially distance. So um, that, 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 that's going to be the whole situation there. Um, that said, <laughs> that, 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 I'd still like to take a couple of precautions with this whole, uh, that, 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 this whole TSA batch. Not because I expect it's going to have any concern virally, um, but more because I suspect some of these knives are going to be absolutely disgusting. So I'm going to go on ahead and uh, make a couple of quick changes here real quick. Uh, hold on just a second here. Uh, get this guy all set up here. This is a, um, plastic trash bag here. There we go. That's going to be today's background for the, uh, for the disassembly. And then we're going to go on ahead and I'm going to borrow, uh, my, my wife's, my lovely wife's dish cleaning gloves. Uh, they are, uh, size M for LBH. That's what that stands for. And then let's go on ahead and, uh, <laughs> Tie back Batman mask. Yeah, exactly. Get my N95 Batman mask out here. Ah, uh, let's go on ahead and jump on into this and start it off. Now, the thing is, this packet, I'm, my goal here today is not just going to be to enjoy these particular pieces. Um, and I suspect they're going to be putting the piece in pieces, that's for damn sure. But instead, it's going to be to classify a little bit, because at some level, look, right, this, uh, th this packet of, of, of joy, well, maybe of junk more succinctly, um, is actually going to be a pretty good microcosm of what goes on in the knife world for your average everyday person, right? We can assume that, you know, that the relevant agents have already squirreled away in their own pockets anything worth a damn. But all of these, the thing about these knives right here is that somebody was carrying carrying them. And so I'd like to kind of think about that in a little bit more of a critical way. I suspect there are going to be some knives in here that are not super impressive, but they're absolutely fine. They're good to go. And, you know, okay, sure, why not? Yeah, carry that. Um, however, at the um, at another uh, level, I suspect there's going to be some stuff in here that is just total boiled junk. Um, and I'd like to separate that out as well. So my goal at the end of this is to get some knives in here that are, uh, you know, maybe worth carrying, or at the very least, they're, they're not so bad. Um, get some stuff that's going to be absolutely 
absolute junk and then get the rest of it someplace out in the middle there. My goal here is just to kind of see what that actually is looking like, what this microcosm of the knife world looks like. But the thing is, um, to start with, I got this baggie of, of knives and that's the main attraction. But actually, before we go further, the seller had very hope for, uh, helpfully sprinkled in a bunch of knives just completely loose in the package. And so I don't know why we got these little deal sweeteners here, but let's go on ahead and take a look and see what I can do. See, uh, see what's here. To start with, uh, this one I suspect just didn't fit in the bag. Now, this is exactly the reason why I am wearing gloves right now. I, uh, I don't know what all is on here. In fact, I kind of don't want to know what all is on here. But we have ourselves a, a good old-fashioned fixed blade. Oh, good Lord, this thing is disgusting. Yeah, it's a limited edition 2008. It's rusting. That appears to be hair on there. That's that's excellent. Um, you know, ergonomically speaking, it's not so terrible, right? Um, at least through these gloves. It, 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 you know, it's okay that the, the sheath leaves a little bit to be desired, what with the half being snapped off there. But, you know, this is not such an inauspicious start. I'm going to try my best not to touch my face here, as is currently the advice. But yeah, that's going to be a situation. So that's, that's where we're starting off here. I'm going to put this in the category of, you know, probably not a great pocket knife, and certainly not a pocket knife, frankly but also reasonably serviceable. So I'll put that over here in the pile of that. Um, then we immediately jump into a Donica, or a Dolica, that is. Oh, boy. I don't know what's on the tip of that, but I'm pretty sure it's narcotic. Um, that, that, that's a joke, of course. Um, this is a, uh, a knockoff, of course, of your Spydeco Delica um, with a very, very nasty blade. This is, I've featured models like this before on the show, um, and this is certainly no better than that. Um, oh boy. Uh, centering's pretty right on, so that's good at least, and it looks like it's been used to clean out something or another that I don't want any part of. So we'll go on ahead, and uh, th th this one is definitely going to be in the category of, no, that's not good, because it's got all kinds of play, etc. This one's going in the junk box. What do we have here? Here we have more freaking packing peanuts. Um, excellent. I, this freaking seller. Okay, so uh, that's a major structural failure right freaking there, right? Um, that is a, a, a crack of the, oh, that's just the scales, luckily. The liner is uh, still in place. Um, but that said, we have um, amazing amounts of blade. In fact, it feels like the entire knife is sort of, yeah, okay, that's about where we're dealing with here. Uh, this is uh, outright dangerous, and that's even before I, I talked on it a little bit more. This is not exactly going to be a high-quality piece, and this is not one that I would recommend to your average, everyday person. But we can see here this knife has had its better days. Um, oh, yo yo. So, that one's another one for the junk bin. Okay, this... What is this? I have no idea what this actually is. I have never seen a knife exactly like this one, and may I never again. Um, this is a friction folder. This is a Jin Lee. Jin Lee, everybody, Jin Lee. Maybe this is one of those brands people are always yelling at me. I need to review more. Um, the th it's actually surprisingly thin behind the edge, which is good. Um, it is covered in something or another that I'm not necessarily loving. But... Um, and it's not the safest thing ever, but this area down here is unsharpened. So perhaps the Jin Lee is going to be a, um, uh, it's not going to be a terrible thing. Um, uh, steel on it, doesn't look like it's too heavily rolled. Honestly, in a lot of ways, this is not so terrible. Ergonomically, at least through the gloves here, we're someplace between bag of hedgehogs and pottery shards. Um, but yeah, this is a faux leather plastic. This is 100% plastic, by the way. Um, but it definitely is trying for the faux leather thing. And then over here we have ourselves, oh, a, a can opener slash pair of cap lifters. Like this is to open two bottles at once, I guess. Um, yeah, I have no, oh, does it, oh no, it wants to shut. I just hit the other one as I was coming in there. So, you know what, I, 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 it's not good, but it's also not the most awful thing ever. So, oh yeah, and the lanyard, absolutely metal complex. This is looking pretty solid right here. So, uh, Jin Lee, we're going to go ahead and put out there. Um, and then here we have a thing. 
This is from Acacia Creek Retirement Home. Uh, they're going to get a free shout out here today. I don't know if it's a retirement home or maybe a retirement plan or something like that. But either way, Acacia Creek is apparently helping us retire. Maybe that's their logo in Braille. I don't know. Uh, we have ourselves... Is that even sharpened? I don't actually know that this blade is sharpened. Look at the edge here. Oh, it's just so unevenly ground that it is functionally unsharpened. Because, like, this side of it is cut at, like, this angle here, and then the other side of it is super shallow. So it's sort of like a bad chisel grind. It's, well, it's a bad something, that's for damn sure. Um, it is non-locking. Good back spring, though. Uh, then here, cap lifter, of course. We have ourselves what should be a screwdriver. Hold on, let me get a tool. Oh, come on. There we go. Uh, oh, no, we, I'm sorry. This is a can opener. Here we got a cap lifter slash Phillips or, uh, screwdriver. We've got ourselves a uh, corkscrew uh, and a Phillips head driver, which is already rounded off from the factory. Factory. Wow, that's uh, that, that that's certainly good. Um, that, that that's how talking should go, by the way. So yeah, we're uh, not super impressed with Acacia Creek Retirement Company's uh, uh, the, the, the promotional knife, but you know, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and toss that one off into the junk bin. Then inside here we have an Inte. Oh yeah, I am Inte. This that's for damn sure. Oh, it's just getting sweeter, getting sweeter, getting... Oh, we have ourselves a paraframe knockoff. And by the way, of course, I have not looked at any of these things before. I haven't opened the package or anything like that, so I have no idea what's going to be in here. We may well find clones. We may well find knockoffs. We may well find the utter and complete junk. This has substantial amounts of blade play. Um, it has a nice little logo here, which exists almost to say, Stop! Don't buy this knife! But somebody didn't heed the logo. Um, what we can see here is a very gnar uh, gnarly uh, little basically bust out in the freaking tip here where they have rolled over the edge so substantially that it's uh, not coming back anytime soon. Another one down here. Uh, and then we have a pocket clip on the knife, even though the knife came in a pouch. Uh, we rubbing the side of the scales here. This, I'm afraid the Inte here is going to be some junk right here. Um, that's, that's, that's not going to be so great. Not in day that 100%. Let's try and get some of the damn popcorn out of our world here for a second. And now we open the full thing. Oh, let's see what we can do here. Oof. I'm a little scared, honestly, at this point. I'm, I'm honestly impressive. Uh, let's go on ahead and pop this open. This is, by the way, a Benchmade mini bug out with a set of Rogue Blade Works carbon fiber scales. This is absolutely a knife I would not send through with the TSA, that's for damn sure. This is a walk my ass back out to the car sort of knife at this point. Um, all right, is that a fork? Yeah, that's a fork. Okay. All right, this is going to be a thing. Oh boy, is this going to be a thing. Thank you very much, Metal Complex, for an extra bottle of hand sanitizer, my friend. I'm going to be, I, I got the isopropyl here. I'm going to be hitting that hard and fast. Oh, okay. Well then, that was a cascade. Let's go on ahead and kind of get things roughly organized on screen here. And let's see what we got. I'm not seeing any Sebenzas. That was my hope. But like I said, I sort of suspect that anything that has been, uh, that is actually worth a damn here is going to have been already removed by the uh, TSA agents uh, doing this kind of thing. So uh, let's go on ahead and jump into it. Uh, grabbing in no particular order, we have ourselves a knockoff Swiss Army knife. Um, this might be... Rust fry, okay, that's something. We can see here that the, the, the rust has actually liquefied in there. That's good. Um, reasonably sharp. It looks like this has been sharpened a few times. So somebody gave this guy some love here. We'll pop open this next blade here. Uh, yeah, this has been resharpened a couple of times as well. Uh, what do we got here? Oh, yeah. They, 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 what is this tool over here? Bust out my opening tool here. Oh, it's a weird-looking freaking cap lifter. 
It's like a freaking Plague Doctor cap lifter or something like that. I don't know. Um, that's that's going to be a thing. That spoon is perfectly reflecting my mask. Oh, by the way, check this out. A beautiful Nick Shabazz t-shirt right here. Oh, yeah. that's uh, that, 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 that right there is a gem. Go to Shabazzard.com. You can pick one up for yourself. Anyways, I... Uh, I <laughs> I digress. Um, so we got ourselves here a, a beautiful... Oh, look, it, it apparently used to have a Crusader shield on the outside of it. I don't think that's Swiss, um, but nonetheless, it, it's certainly a thing. Oh boy, is this a thing? What happened to this? Like, seriously, look at this. Did somebody hit this with like an angle grinder or something? Like, was that during use or during manufacture? Like, seriously, and the thing is, it would have had to have dodged this. Were they, like, opening wine when an angle grinder attacked them or something? Motorcycle wreck? Maybe, but you'd expect to see a little something on... I don't know. Whatever that is, this is, um... This little knife here has seen some shit, that's for sure. Um, Keith says you can't buy sanitizer for two bucks. Thank you very much, Keith. I'll take the five. Um, and by the way, I'm gonna try and keep an eye on your, um... Uh, keep an eye on your uh, the, the chat over there, and I'll definitely try and see the uh, the, the the promoted post there. But oh, oh my God, nine hundred and fifty people! <laughs> well, welcome to the show. <laughs> okay, so uh, I'm gonna go on ahead and I'm gonna toss this one in the. Maybe we're gonna have a third category of like, eh, it's not junk, but guys, come on. And actually, I'm going to go on ahead and I'm going to put our uh, uh, Jin Lee over in that category as well as, you know, no, 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 no. We're, we're going to keep the Winchester over there. All right. Next up is this whole affair here. Oh, God, Nautica. So Nautica is a reasonably well-known clothing brand, as I recall. I am having a little bit of trouble believing that this is a fashionable sort of thing right here. Um, but... It is a non-locking fork. That's good. Why would the TSA take this? Are forks illegal on planes now? Is that even a knife? Yeah, I think, no. It's got a, a cap lifter. I mean, maybe it's it's knife-ish, right? It's, it's silverware. Maybe that's the issue here, that like you're not allowed to carry silverware. But yeah, so you've got yourself a fork, you've got yourself a cap lifter. The fork is completely exposed, though. Like, I guess the fork could be a pocket clip, right? Just, like, keep the fork on your pocket. If if you are an enthusiast of meals, on, a nautical enthusiast of meals on the go, this could absolutely be an option for you. But um, not super impressed by... And what's this? What's this action here? Is this... Oh, oh, it's a two-part affair. Look, look, it's a two-parter. Okay, good. I'm glad I noticed that. Because I was thinking, what, do you, like, hang this on the wall or something like that? But no, this is, this is a mated pair right here. Watch, watch this. I'm going to slide these together. Maybe. I'm going to try and slide these together. Come on, get in there. Do I need to have the fork? Oh, yeah, I need to have the fork partly open for it to slide in right. Okay, now we pop this together. Oh, yeah, and then I close the fork and we are locked together. Oh, my God. That's amazing. So, actually, you know what? And then you got ourselves, this is a big-ass spoon, too. This is, like, quality. We, we got some serious soup action going on here. Like, you fear not any minestrone. Ah, oh, this is why the DSA stole it. Okay, okay. What the heck kind of? like a freaking butter scimitar over here. Like, I've not seen a, a, a cutler, like a, a kitchen knife sort of affair uh, in quite exactly that shape. It's like a, a half of a kukri or something like that. Like, for chopping. I have no idea. But either way, I'm, I'm, I'm duly impressed by this, and then we've got ourselves a spoon here. That's good. And you know what? The layout on it is not illogical, right? Because once I pop the fork loose, I can separate the sides. That way I have a fork and a knife. That way I can do all of my my normal digestion-related things and, and, and make the... You know what? Okay. I am going to go on ahead and I'm going to say that although I, I, I can't say I'm super impressed with the knife, nor with the, uh, well, just general affair here, um, it's actually... Oh, hold on. Trying to get this back together here. This has moments of brilliance. This is as far as pocket silverware sets go, and that way you can choose whether you want to use the fork or the, the, the spoon is your pocket clip there. 
Um, by the way, what are you carrying this in? Like, I can't picture just dropping this in your pocket. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put this in the, this actually is surprisingly not awful pile. Because, well done, Nautica, well done. Okay, um, here we have another variation on the theme here. We have a fork and a spoon. Is this going to unlock itself too? Is that a possibility? Maybe. Maybe this is all, whoa, oh boy, okay. That Wow, that one got serious. So in this case, again, yeah, we have this, a similar approach here. We got a, a good old-fashioned stainless knife. We have ourselves a fork. We got a bottle opener. And this one has a wine, uh, uh, that, that the wine uncorker, corkscrew. Corkscrew, that's the term. Sorry, English is, turns out to be pretty hard, right? Um, so, and then the whole thing goes back together like so. You, ow, you put the, I hurt myself with the spoon of all damn things. Put this together and it, you know what? I Oh, and it's a Yosemite. Nice. Yosemite. Um, honestly, I wonder if they were traveling together. Yeah, maybe this is a his her set. <laughs> maybe his name was Yosemite and her name was Nautica. <laughs> I don't know. But either way, I got to say, in the grand face-to-face -face of your, your uh, in the fork-off, if you will, of these two things, I, I'm going actually Yosemite here. I think the Yosemite is going to offer some additional features with your wine corkscrew, with your uh, with your fork, with your extra, a uh, slightly more realistic knife here. Um, the, the spoon here is a little bit more reasonably sized. I'm going to be honest with you here. If I'm looking for a pocket-based fork and dual set, um, the, the, the Yosemite here is not such a terrible, terrible choice. I didn't say it's a good one, but I said it's not such a terrible, terrible one. Um, yeah, so the Yosemite is definitely rocking it to me. Yes, I know that there is a, a, a Yosemite National Park, but this is a Yosemite. I know this. I know things. So there's that. I'm seeing one other... This is like a theme. We must have ordered with extra spoons. Is that a... Oh, God, it's a Kubaton. We'll get there. We'll get there. Good Lord. So, okay, let's go on ahead and get the silverware approach done here quickly. Oh, this one... This one is not impressing me here. Because this little guy has incredible fork play. Uh, fork play. Oh, God, it's broken. Look at this. Yeah, fork play is definitely a thing. Um. <laughs> ah, got my glove there for a second. Yeah, this one, maybe it's separable. Maybe it's not. But either way, I, I don't fork and care because it is unfortunately broken. So I, I'm going to go on ahead. The Yosemite as well as the Nautica here, the his-hers combo, are going to be a little bit better performing than this little guy. What's the knife look like? Uh, oh, here we have ourselves the Kukri again, but with the bottle opener on the back of the knife. Is that safe? Yeah-ish, I guess. Um, that's going to be a thing. The belly fork. Yeah, indeed, it's a belly fork. Yeah, you can do some flipping tricks with it, right? Yeah, exactly. I, it, I'll, I'll be honest with you here. The action is, uh, it's a, a free drop in action. That's certainly something, right? Uh, eat your heart out, Grimsmo. That's, uh, that's an action right there. So, ow. Okay, then into the junk drawer you go. Ozark Trail. Oh, what the heck? Oh, this was just something... Good Lord, look at the keychain on this. Like, seriously, that's a big old... Anyways, uh, let's go to the Ozark Trail here first. Looks like we've probably got another similar approach. This feels like it might be made in the same factory as the Yosemite here. Yeah, I'm thinking it's same factory, because um, it looks like the overall design. The, the Yosemite, though, is a higher quality version. You can see all the tools have been a little bit better polished, etc. The spoon reflectivity is about equivalent in both of them. That's good, at least. Um, but yeah, okay, yep, come on, pop loose, yeah, at the very least, it's the same design, uh, for it, but I'm still going Yosemite on this one, um, I, I think the Yosemite is just gonna be Yosemiteier than the, uh, the, the other, again, this weird clip point thing going on, okay, you know what, uh, we'll put this one in the medium bile, right, it's, it's no Yosemite, but it's certainly an affair, and then finally, uh, the, I thought I saw, oh, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. We have one more of these guys. This is the micro version. This is like the lightweight, ultra-light backpacking sort of thing. Um, this is uh, this is a Coleman right here. Coleman, of course, being a common. Thank you, Marcus. Um, common, does this separate or is this? No, I think this is just a thing. Um, or maybe it's held together by gunk. 
Can we tally how much of this was designed by Usa? A, a fair, oh God. This steel is like, it's certainly not hardened, but it's not even like, like mild, I think is a slight understatement. This is not like mild. This is like uh, salsa you would buy in Michigan mild. Like it's, it's mild, mild. Um, it's kilometered that it's that freaking mild. Um, let's go ahead and pop this open. Yeah, we have a knife here. It is eh, sharp-ish. It's hard to tell exactly with these gloves. So I'm going to have to buy my wife new gloves after this. I can't in good conscience. Yeah, good luck buying gloves right now. <laughs> Anyways, I digress. You know, I, I, for, for, for the traveler, for the, the on-the-go user of that. Sorry, hit the camera with my Batman mask. Um, yeah, why we call him Obo Nick? Ah, uh, yeah. I'll go ahead and I'll toss this one into the, the, the slightly okay pile. Uh, it's no Yosemite, but it's a start. Does that conclude the spoon portion of today's uh, situation? I think it does. I think it does. All right. Okay. Uh, what else do we have here? Uh, what the heck is this thing? This is a Henkels, apparently. What the heck is this thing? So, okay, this is an object right here. It is a monad, that is for damn sure. I'm not 100% sure what this object is yet, so we're going to explore this together right here. I, I see that there is a nail nick, and there appear to be two blades. Okay, so these are little, oh boy, is that a weak spring. Little Victorinox classic style thing, That, that that's good. Uh, and then behind it here we have what appears to be a file slash screwdriver. Uh, and then let's see what we got going on back here. I bet that maybe this... Whoa there! Oh, nail clippers! Okay, for, for little freaking tiny nails. This thing is uh, relatively petite. Like it's for your, for your toddler or something. Yeah, okay, so you can just pop those loose and you got yourself a pair of nail clippers. I wonder if this works. Let's see here. Yeah, it works. Even capable of cutting knockoff Spyderco dragonflies. Maybe this is a knockoff ladybug. Either way, um, th 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 that's the situation. Oh, I gotta say, all things... Oh, and then on the other side here, what do we have? Uh, I'm betting scissors? Oh, yeah, little tiny freaking scissors. Do the blades meet? They do. You know what? Okay, okay. Not the best thing ever, but honestly, it's uh, it could be a lot worse. Um, is there anything else involved here? No? Okay, I'm gonna throw this in the okay pile, right? There we go. Out, Shabazz, yeah. That's for damn sure. Okay, um, this little guy is open. Oh, yes, indeed. So what we have here is... Oh, this is bear-themed. This is bear-themed. My friends, we have a... Oh, God, look at the red liners here. We have a bear-themed knife. Um... Uh, so they is that a lion or a bear? Like, okay, chat, tell me, is this a lion or a bear? Or is it a little of each? I'm trying to figure this out. I I have no clue here. Um, if it was smaller, it'd be cub-themed, I guess. Um, yeah, either way, uh, a tiger. Yeah, it could be a tiger as well. Like, to be fair, whoever made this um, is not a... Uh, <laughs> thank you, Marcus. Whoever made this is... Probably not super familiar with bears, so yeah, I'm pretty sure that's a tiger. Um, where the heck I have a macro lens around here? Did I put that away already? Ay, ay, ay. So that's a joy. Um, let's see here. We've got ourselves a knife, and so let's see how the deployment action is. A werewolf. Yeah, that's a good. This is a tiger bear. A, ja a jaguar rune bee, a pig. It's a man bear pig. There we go. That one. Oh, boy. So then... This here is, uh, it's wood, it's Usa, it's China right there. Blade is something, it says something up here. I'm trying to think what that says. Is that Alaska? Yeah, I think that's Alaska, but maybe as rendered by somebody who doesn't really use the English super often. Um, yeah, like Alaska, Alyoshka, maybe, I don't know. 
Um, garbage, yeah, that could be another approach. Yeah, I'm going with, they probably meant Alaska, but to be fair, if I was writing Chinese characters on 500 knives an hour, I'd probably do an equivalently bad job. So, um, yeah, I'm going to go with the, 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 the Alyosha here is, uh, the, yeah. Um, blade play is just on one dimension and not so terrible. Um, I'm slightly, oh, and it's assisted, of course, because of course it is. Uh, a little, got to pour one out for the bear paw here. Thank you very much, Jesus. Um, uh, hold on just a second here. Um, yeah, the bear paw in here. That should give you pause before you buy this. <laughs> yeah, that's a situation right there. Oh, got myself trapped in there. Where does this go? Mm, by every other realistic standard, this is junk. But looking at the rest of the pile, I'm worried that this is actually toward the mid-range. So I'm going to go on ahead and I'm going to keep him over here and hope that he can get dethroned a little bit later on. This little guy right here, actually, I think we have a friend in this. Um, I think this is probably more or less the same thing as our... Yes, indeed. We have identified the same factory is making. This guy, though, is an... Err brand. I don't know what this brand is actually. It's it's Err. I'm gonna maybe maybe it's a pirate company, right? It's R. Uh, I don't know what's going on here with this, but either way, th th this R brand item is. I feel like maybe a it's a slight step above your uh, Acacia Creek retirement home knife over here. Um, that's you know, yeah. So I'm going I'm going with R over this because here you've got the DLC coating. How's the sharpening on this guy? Yeah, because the, the the Acacia Creek was, yeah, that was the one that was basically not sharpened. Uh, whereas this guy has a sharpening job that appears to be slightly less awful. Does this have another tool? Or did I miss one on the Acacia Creek? This does. This has another tool, my friends. I I am I have over. Uh, yeah, R is for refuse. Yeah, good. This has a third tool in the middle here. I'm I, I don't know what it is yet, but by God, we so Acacia Creek. You have. Adios, my friend. We are we we are all in with the R here. So uh, yeah, that's a situation. Um, as a pirate, I'm offended. You don't have think we don't have standards. Oh, it's scissors. Okay, there we go. Beautiful. And then this has had some. This has had some days. That's for damn sure. Um, busted up there. Oh man. Why do the scissor blades even touch? In places. That's something. Come on. No, there we go. Uh, and then we're back here to the... Oh, yeah, this is the um, the Plague Doctor can opener. This is less over-polished than the first one. Oh, and it's covered in something or another. Like, I'd like you to notice that these gloves started clean and already were here. This is not going to be great. This is just not going to be stellar. And then in the middle here we have... Are they trying to make that a file? Oh, come on. I think they're pretending that's a file, but I don't think it is. Um, so, I have a little bit of a revelation for you. Um, arr, I'm afraid that just carving grooves on something doesn't make it a file. This is not going to be a file here. This is not going to be a file. But nonetheless, maybe it's a, um, oh, 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 it's like the, um, the, the, the classical, the, the folk instrument, the washboard sort of thing. So I can do the, somebody can be setting down a groove and I can join in with my, okay, there we go. So it's a washboard. There you go. Little tiny washboard. All right. So the R here is pretty bad, but in the grand scheme of things, it's not quite to the level of junction, but it's, it's damn near. It's damn near. Okay, we have ourselves another Dalika. Now, who on earth is this Acme Furnace Company? Okay, so Acme Furnace Company is providing us with these dollar store Delicas here. Oh, good Lord. Could you put a little bit... Like, CRKT could learn from this. This There is a way to put more things on a blade. But uh, th this one's brand new. Um, this one is... This is a whole thing. Stonebridge... Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Look at this. Okay. Hold on. So Acme uh, Furnace Company has furnished this furnace. Uh, this was wonderful knife to whoever the DSA stole this from. That's that's well and good. But on the back side of this guy, 
Check this out. This is the business card of the guy who sold Acme Furnace Company this knife. So Acme Furnace Company decided, you know what, we want to advertise our brand with a pocket knife. But better still, we want to advertise the guy who made this knife for me. And so call Mickey Gates, 501-623. Don't call Mickey Gates, by the way. Don't be a douchebag. But nonetheless, um, you know, organize with your logo and phone. There we go. Stonebridge, manufactured in China National Headquarters, USA. By the way, I'd like to just highlight that I have a knife that's almost identical to this one. Oh, is this Stonebridge as well? It is Stonebridge. There we go. Stonebridge Collection. Beautiful. So, all right, we have two different companies advertising themselves on this one pocket knife. That's going to be pretty impressive. And that one pocket knife is... Uh, Hey, that one actually has spring to the, the, the clip. That's nice. The last Dalek I had was uh, not quite there. And it's an integral. That's cool, right? People pay 400 bucks for that. Um, that, that, that that's the situation. So, uh, oh boy. Might have been a sample. Yeah, it could have been. Because Acme Fertis Company is pretty, uh, it's pretty sort of, uh, yeah, it's generic. Maybe it is a sample. Maybe it's a salesperson sample. Maybe, just maybe, this was stolen from Mickey Gates by the DSA. Probably an ad knife. It could be. That, that, that That's a very real possibility there, Sikari. I, I, who knows? But yeah, that's... Uh, we're going to go on ahead and toss that one into the junk pile right here. Uh, we have ourselves a Gerber paraframe. Why am I not surprised? This is a knife that is... Hmm... Common. That's the best thing you can say about the paraframe. It is absolutely common. Do we have any other paraframes in here? We have a second Gerber paraframe here. Um, as I said, this is one of the better selling knives in the U.S. That is not great, honestly. Um, I, I, I am definitely not a big fan of that being the case, but it's very lightweight. A lot of people carry them. A lot of people can get them cheaply, etc. Um, it is, at least it's not a knockoff, right? Um, but they're not exactly the best thing ever. But at the same time, oh God, this one is bad. This one is beat up. Mickey says I'm a terrible person. Thank you, Mickey. I'm, I appreciate that. Um, <laughs> this one is just beat the heck up. It's got huge amounts of side-to-side -side blade play here. When the paraframe is the best knife in the lot, yeah, you're right. Absolutely, Sakari. That's a terrifying moment right there. Can I tighten the pivot down and help? I don't want to touch my tools right now, actually. I, 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 I think I'm going uh, to call Corona on that one and go ahead and stop. Uh, yeah. So this, is, this one here is... And look at the tip of this guy. This has been beat the heck up. Somebody has put this through a car door a couple of times. Oi, oi, oi. I will go on ahead and junk that one. This one, though, is in better condition. Serious blade play, but only horizontal, right? That's one dimension. That's half the blade play, right? We'll put that one in the middle there. Any other paraframes in here? I don't think so. Okay. Uh, we have this guy here, which is... When you are too cheap to buy a Gerber paraframe, you buy one of these. This is a Appalachian Trail knife. Appalachian Trail, right there. Uh, see if you can read that. Hopefully you can. Appalachian Trail. Yeah, so um, there you go. That's that's something right there. Um, we have ourselves a sharpening job of sorts on it. We have ourselves a pocket clip. I got to say, actually, there's an element of skill to this pocket clip here. It's kind of around the side of it. Uh, it matches the hole nicely. That's not so terrible here. Um, but that said, the, there is no detent. None at all. No detent whatsoever. All righty. Not so good. Um, but it's not serrated. Looks like it's been resharpened a few times, I hope. Or maybe it was just sharpened that badly at the factory. But nevertheless, um, that, that, that's a beautiful thing. And by the way, it is Appalachian, not Appalachian or anything like that. At least so my friends from Appalachia have told me. But okay, so we've got ourselves a um, quite the pocket knife here. And uh, it is going to go into the drunk drawer. The drunk drawer, wow. As in you got to be drunk to buy one of these. That's for damn sure. 
All right, let's get a couple of Dalekas out of the way here. This is a Spyderco, well, this is a fake Spyderco Dragonfly, or uh, maybe Ladybug. This is more Ladybug size. Um, you can see here, if we compare this to an actual, hold on just a second here. Ah, compare this to an actual Spyderco Ladybug, which is around here someplace. You can see here, as I open this knife with one hand, as to avoid contamination, yeah, this is the knife that that is roughly based on. Uh, absolutely a better knife by several orders of magnitude. And I mean that not in the colloquial sense, but in the sense of several powers of ten. So, uh, that's a thing. Uh, I know. Come on. Get in here. Hey, it's nice to have something that's actually a little small for my hands for a change, right? Uh, all right. There we go. Beautiful. These are medium-sized gloves, by the way. Medium-sized gloves. So, yeah, we've got ourselves a fake dragonfly. Substantial blade play, vertical and horizontal. No detent. Sharpening, approximately nothing. Yeet. Adios. Um, we have ourselves yet another... Ooh, that's got to be fecal. All right. Another Appalachian Trail. And uh, at least we know what's going on here. It's putting off particulate as I close it, so I'm going to go on ahead and, uh, so I don't have to end 95 up. Yeet. Uh, what else do we have here? I thought I saw another Dalek. Oh, yeah, this guy, of course. Um, uh, yeah, uh, this is a Frost Cutlery. Oh, of course. I didn't know they were in the knockoff game. Well, either way, um, this is a fake dragonfly, effectively. It's not fake in that it's not trying to be anything, but it's, it's, it's very clearly heavily inspired by. Nice, strong backspring on it. Actually, the thing is, there's not actually blade play here, but there's handle play. Like, the whole thing is so flimsy that the entire knife is flexing. And not flexing in the sense of, look at my Omega, flexing in the sense of this thing's about to break. So, uh, yeah, that's a thing. Um, yeah. It's less bad than the other ones, uh, but at the same time, yeet. Adios. Um, let's go on ahead. Oh, here, here's another one. This has a price tag on it. Somebody bought this and never took this price tag off of the lanyard. So we're going to go on ahead and we're going to give them the very, very best uh, benefit of the doubt here. Um, <laughs> thank you very much, Nicholas. Um, somebody must have purchased this guy like on the way to the airport. But wait, hold on. Okay. Does this show signs of... Yes, this shows signs of use. Look at this. This knife has been used. What this means is that the person who purchased this knife did not bother taking this off of the lanyard, nor taking off this lanyard. This person, maybe this is their only knife, so they were unable to cut it off because the, the, the mechanics of it don't quite work off. I don't know, but no, it's just pulling loose. Did they think of this as a souvenir? Like, what I'm, I'm secretly hoping that this person, like, bought this knife, like, on their honeymoon or something like that. Although that would be sad, because then the TSA stole it, right? And they kept this on there to remind them forever of that magical n night at the gas station where they purchased the pocket knife. I don't know, but I'm not super, super impressed by the whole affair. Um, ugh, just got more of that. We're going to go on ahead and, um, yeah... You know what? If the tag has survived this long, I'm not going to separate it. Yeet. All right. Sanitation break. One of the most important things you can be doing right now is washing your hands. Uh, that, that, that is one of the very best things to do. Don't panic and wash your damn hands. So I'm going to go ahead and do exactly that. I'm going to not panic and I'm going to wash my damn hands. Generally speaking, you'll want to use something that isn't rubbing alcohol because that's not going to be the most effective approach. Warm and soapy water. But at the moment, sitting in front of a uh, desk in an open window with a little Asian lady staring out the window at me. Hi, little Asian lady. No, you're not going to understand this. Um, this is the best I can do. So, uh, hey, Connor, thank you. Uh, no, not... Well, actually, I'm going to go on ahead. I'm going to call the Yosemite kind of cool, okay? Um, it's crappy, but it's crappy in an endearing way. And so there we go. We are cleaned up. We have, uh, we've done what we need to do. Um, so, 
Yeah, I, I live in an apartment building. It, it, it's not like there's an Asian lady sitting inside my apartment right now staring at me. That would be a little bit different. Um, and I feel like that would add a, a measure of strangeness to this. No, I just live in an apartment and the person across the way is looking directly freaking... Like, uh, my neighbors moved in. And, like, unfortunately, this has designed such that you've got, like, apartment, apartment, right? And then people can look just straight freaking across at you. And my, my latest neighbors have had the brilliant idea that I'm going to put my computer desk in front of the window. That way I get all the natural light. Like, that's great, but that means I have somebody staring at me 24-7. And it's getting a little bit old. And so I'm sitting here in a bat... But I don't want to close the curtains because I need light for this. So I'm sitting here with a Batman mask and gloves with a table that's covered in freaking Dexter-style trash bag over here, taking apart crappy knives with a... And this poor Asian lady's probably trying to tie this all together in some cohesive narrative, and it ain't working. So Godspeed to you. Um, I'll just go on ahead and wave because, um, yeah, that's the way this is going here. So, uh... Excellent. Where to next? Oh, another Dalika. Uh, we have here... Oh, this is a, a more faithful rendition of the the, the, the Lardy Bug. I'm going to call it that, the Lardy Bug. Um, don't blame neighbors for my life decisions. Indeed, yeah. Ay, 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 ay. Um, this is... Oh, no, it doesn't lock. Um, although, actually, it, the fact that it's not locking might be because of that lint. No, 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 it just doesn't lock. It's because it's bad. All right. Cool. Yeet. All righty. Back at the ranch. Uh, oh, one more. God, they're hiding under everything now. Uh, is this one going to lock up? Because it looks to be the same model, just a little less loved. Yeah, this one locks up. Nice. Uh, it's still poorly sharpened. Lanyard's on there, but no tag this time. I feel somehow let down by that. Um... Yeah, sell the pink one to recoup eBay expenses. No, this was sent to me. All of this, all of this was sent to me by a very generous viewer who I know happens to be in the chat right now. So, yeah, that's a joy. Uh, what brand is this? Eagle, I guess. Yeah, Clorox, Clorox, Clorox. I'm just going to like, yeah, Lottie Bug infestation. Um, yeah. All right. Yeet, back at the ranch. All righty, get my kicks. It's asking me, oh, on Route 66. Okay, cool. So I don't actually know where Route 66 is. I know that it's a good place to buy kicks, but beyond that, I'm, I'm pretty unsure. Um, let's see here. Can I get this out? Oh, hold on, I got to get my tool to open this up. Oh, boy, that was unpleasant. So I got ourselves a... Uh, a um, I like the fact that this is like bent. Like, there's not a way to make this straight. Like, they just, like, eh, we'll, we'll, we'll make it upwards-ish. Uh, we have ourselves another file where they don't understand that simply cutting a... Ah! Cutting a series of grooves into something does not a file make. In this case, it just doesn't work. Um, ni nicely done there. It's kind of like uh, the, uh, on that episode of The Office where Michael thought he could uh, declare bankruptcy by shouting, I declare bankruptcy. Like, these people declared file, and it was about as effective, right? Um, and then we have ourselves a rounded-off Phillips head screwdriver. That's that's pretty excellent. Let's see what the knife looks like. Knife is actually pretty clean right here. You know, I'm, what's sad about this is I suspect that this is brand new, right? I suspect that this is something that somebody bought on their uh, on their trip. And then got to the airport and realized, oh, wait a second, I should have packed there. I should have, you know, done that. And so some poor person has, um, you had disinfected, destroy. Yeah, good point. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, this some poor person has ended up uh, losing their Route 66. Yeah, the scissors do touch in places. That's something. That place is being right here. There's about a millimeter or two right here where it seems like the scissors are touching. So that's something. Um... Yeah, and then we've got ourselves uh, two other things. I think we've seen these before, but likely, yeah. Come on. There we go. Yep. We have ourselves the conventional tools. You know what? All told, this is a terrible touristy knife, but at the same time, you know, you could probably do a little bit worse. So, we'll put that one in the not-so-terrible file. Um, here's one for Shannon. Uh, from Palm Springs, California. God, that's not that far away, right? Um, Palm Springs is like two hours, I think, or so from here. 
This is a slightly upgraded version. We have ourselves a knife. Good. It's a knife. Reasonably sharpish. We have ourselves... God, I hope this is a saw. Let this be a saw. Uh, oh, yeah. We have ourselves a saw. Oh, want to play a game indeed. We have ourselves... Is that a fish hook extractor? I think this is a fish scaler, which is something Shannon might need to do. Um, we have ourselves some scissors. And then the rest of this actually looks like, I'm betting that the Get Your Kicks on Route 66 and this guy are made by the same company, just this is a slightly upgraded model. I think Shannon sprung for the real deal, so to speak. Way to go, Shannon. Treat yourself. Treat yourself. So we've seen what's in there. Um, what else do we have on the back side here? We've got ourselves a uh, corkscrew. We have an awl, although the awl is not in any way, shape, or form sharp. So that's not great. It's more like a... Like you can make something very uncomfortable by pushing it against it, but that's about the level of penetration we should be expecting here. Um, we should really be expecting better penetration. Um... And come here, you... There we go. We have ourselves a... I don't know what this is. Like, in theory, this should be a, a knife, right? This should be sharpened, but they didn't sharpen it at all. This is just a 90-degree thing, so it's just like a, another pokey thing. Like, you've got two options here for pokey things. You've got pokey thing and pokey thing with hole, right? Um, that's something. And then I wonder if the file is better on the Shannon here. Come on. Uh, oh, that's not the file. That's the thing I was just using. Ah, there we go. I hope it doesn't come loose or else I'm going to be defiled. Okay, that was terrible. Uh, yeah, they declared file on this one too. All right. Ah, that's something. Uh, these go back a long time. I had a Shannon in the 90s. Oh, yes. I actually have a, a Nick commemorative San Diego knife. Um, for better penetration, use the pink Kubaton. Mm, yeah. Kids, ask your parents about these jokes. Or don't, better still. So we're going to go ahead and throw the Shannon in the pile of like, well, you tried. And that's something there. Um, well, we're at Bad Swiss Army Knives. This is looking like the same maker of the Shannon over there. Um, but, yeah, the pattern's the same. This is scaled down a little bit. So this is sort of your travel Shannon uh, right here. So we got ourselves... Yeah, and again, they... Well, wait, is this a better file? Oh, this is shedding particulate again. That looks like a slightly better file, actually. That looks like... I'm not going to tell you that it's hardened, but it's a slightly better file, so that's something, right? Um, good God. <sighs> I don't know what's coming out of there, but I know I don't want to eat it. Okay. Um, please... <laughs> you gotta save some of these things, Hockey. You gotta save some of these things. Make sure the people get their money's worth. Okay, the, the scissors touch in one place right here. So that's something, right? Um, and then the knife. Let's see what the knife looks like. Can I get this? Nope. Oh, nope. There we go. All right. Eh, it's it's sharpish. So we have ourselves a compact chin in here. I got to say, in terms of style, we are this is a big step down. And in terms of sharpenedness, eh, probably pretty crappy too. But that's definitely uh, that, 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 that that's something to consider. Um, eh, yeah, yeah. I'll put it over here with the Shannon, right? That would be a, a, a mixed. Um, okay. So here we go. Let's see. So this has actively disassembled itself. It is a Feblo ink. I don't know what Feblo ink is, but I know that they're not investing in great Swiss Army tools. This is a knockoff, of course, of the Victorinox Classic. It does have the tweezers, and the tweezers appear to be unused, but the tips of them don't super touch either, so that's probably why, right? F is for fail. Yeah, that's for damn sure. Capital freaking F over here. And, uh, yeah. All right. Yeet. You're gone. Uh, what do we have here? This is an Ozark Trail. Oh, yeah. 
Uh, oh, this has a slightly different loadout. This is this is different from the Shannon here. Oh boy. Uh, right there, got your. Um, uh, why do I keep wanting to say cork lifter? It's not a thing. Uh, got that guy here. What's down there? So I'd like to highlight that right here they have a cutout to access the nail nick, and there's no nail nick in that cutout. So that's pretty cool. I'm a fan of that. Oh, because that's a liner. That must be for another model of this. Ah, oh, God, I have to scratch my head, and I don't want to touch anything at all. Um, there we go. Yeah, so there's that. And then let's go ahead and... Okay. We have ourselves an all... Ish. Why would you have the hole for the all down here? Doesn't that kind of defeat the purpose of an all? Somebody who uses alls, tell me, does that make sense? It's like a hollow ground all or something. It's hollow ground. Hollow ground? Uh, uh, okay. No. All right. I tried. Um, we have ourselves a knife. Knife is... Yeah, I can see the edge, so that's not a good sign. Uh, we have ourselves a, um, looks like a pair of scissors. Okay, yeah, scissors. They touch in exactly one place right here. That's excellent. We have ourselves what should be our standard. Oh, this is new. Oh, that's, that's probably going to give me some syndrome or another. Uh, there's that thing. And then there is... A uh, good old-fashioned cap lifter over here with a really, really thick flathead screwdriver blade. All right. No no file on here. All right. Uh, sorry, Ozark Trail, but you're way below the uh, standards that the uh, Shannon has set for us here already. So, yeet. All right. Uh, now we have... Is this another thing of the exact same knife? That sure is. Is this one any better? No, in fact, it just seems grosser. So, uh, all right, moving on. Uh, we have ourselves, oh, this guy, this guy, this guy. Salt Lake City, City of the Saints. Oh, yeah. Pretty sure a couple other churches would disagree with him on that one, but hey, I'm not gonna get in that. I'm gonna go ahead and clean that off, see if I can get a little closer to that beautiful imagery. Um, oh, yeah. See, we're getting this clean here, guys. Need to get out the auto polish here. Yeah, get that. Eh, see, right there. That's some quality imagery right there with the uh, main temple and whatnot. For the uh, for the church on there, the backside. Yeah, you don't need anything. Let me just clean this off while I'm at it. Because... All righty. Go ahead and toss that into quarantine down there. Let's go ahead and pop this out here. Okay, it's got a little bit of a Tonto blade going on here. That's that's certainly something. Um, we have ourselves... Oh, come on. Come loose. There we go. Got ourselves a file, and this is actually a file. Hey, that's nice. I got more files than J. Edgar Hoover at the moment. That's, that's good. Wait a second. Hold on. Check this out. Check this out. All right. So, when I have this guy closed, both of these guys are right next to each other together, right? Now, watch this. I'm going to pull this out here, and then you're going to see that the knife has gone over to the other side here. It's like the knife misses this file. And what that means is that this guy is absolutely... Mm, yeah, every damn time you close this, it's going to scratch up this knife. Nice. And then there's this ring. This ring on here is serious business. This is like one ring to rule them all right here. This is this is one of the more serious keychains I've ever seen on a novelty knife. I mean, this guy is... This is not trivial. So I, I'm appreciating that very much. And then on the back side here, we have ourselves. Looks like some scissors. And then, yeah, no tweezers or anything like that. Oh, that's... Oh, I don't even know what's on there, but I know I don't want any part of this. Oh, maybe the whole thing is like a gel. It is. The whole affair is just like gel-coated. So that's why it looks so bad. Oof. Oof. 
I'm going to keep the ring. Ring looks solid. Knife itself. Yeet. All right, moving on. Uh, what else do we have here? Uh, do we have any other Swiss Army style affairs? Oh, my poor desk. All right, um, we've got this thing right here, and this is curious. This is unusual. I have not seen anything quite like this. And I'm very curious what the heck it is or how. So I got to say, I'm appreciating the, uh, the, 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 the decor right here. Um... Yeah, that's something. Let's pull this apart. Where's my tool? Here we go. Uh, what the hell? Guys, help. Hey, Josh, good to see you. What? So this is sharpened on one of the edges here. Do you have it like fork? It's not tweezers. Okay, so maybe it's a fork of some variety or another. Mini Trident. Good Lord, chats. Oh, that's because there were 1,300 people in here. <laughs> so we've got ourselves a Neptune's freaking Trident over here. Um, oh, Poseidon or whoever, pick your, pick your panty on there. We have scissors that only... No, actually, they don't touch. The edges of the scissors don't touch at any point. That's pretty excellent right there. And then what do we have down here? We have a knife blade. What the heck is this symbol? Is that like a lash? Like, which? Or a sword with a lanyard on it? A Tai Chi sword? And then there's this whole thing down here, which pretty sure is toxic. Maybe they were using it to, like, clean out a pipe or something. And then it looks like something else has been broken off of this, actually. If we take a look down here, it looks like maybe a fork was on here. Well, no, we got the fork. Maybe there was a spoon on here that they broke off. And then inside there is just... All of this is looking... Yeah. And let's go on ahead and have a sanitation break. Doctors recommend that you wash your hands for no less than 20 seconds with warm, soapy water. It's a, uh, an instant habit that can make a big difference in your life and the life of those around you. All right. In this case, I'm going to use some isopropyl alcohol and just get whatever the heck was going on there. Yeah. Sorry, hit the camera with my Batman mask again. I love how often I've said that sentence. That's a sentence I never thought I would say during my lifetime, but now here I am saying it regularly. Um, open the blade on that last knife all the way. I just finished cleaning my hands, Connor, but I like you, so let's see what we got going on here. Why are you asking me for these things? Why are you asking me for this? Uh... Yeah, still not good. No part of this is okay. Still not good. All right, uh, and the yeet count. Oh, let's see here. It looks like, good Lord. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Looks like 14, maybe 15, depending on. Yeah, it looks like about 15 knives have been yachting at this point in time. So there you go. Um, that is the situation. Ah, uh, thought it had a lock. No, it did not have a lock. All it had a lock on was my heart. All right, um, let's go on ahead and, uh, oh, what next? Let's check this big boy here. This is confusing me. How do I have, oh, that's from the tape. At least I hope, or it's some alien parasite, I don't know. Okay. So, the blade on this is not stellar, but it's got a cap lifter on the back of it, which is good, because is the lock going to fail? No. Weirdly enough, no. But the thing that's making me weirded out here is this whole affair on the back. What is this? It appears that there's like a, a spring or something in there. Like, 
No, it's just a backstop. And then, is this like a charging handle or something? Is this like a ballistic knife? Am I about to die? What on earth is... Oh, it's a fire steel! It's a fire steel, I think. At least it wants to be. I don't know. So, and you've got yourself a strap cutter in the back. You've got yourself a chunk of liner that's been put to an edge. Um, Optimus Prime, yeah. No, this ain't Optimus, buddy. This is Pessimist Prime. Uh, oof. Yeah, so we got ourselves a fire steel here. This is one-stop shopping for all your survival needs. Yeah, fire steel might be useful. Throw that over there. To pretending for a second that's actually a fire steel. So what was on the other side then? Like, kindling? Flopped him his prime. Yeah, oh, yo, yo. Yeah, you'd think this would have a compass, wouldn't you? Not super impressed. And the ergonomics, by the way, on this are just terrible. Like, yeah. Yeah. Imagine, uh, you know those little spiky things that you use at like a physical therapist to stimulate? Yeah, that, 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 that would be, imagine gripping 10 of those in an old gym sock. That's about the ergonomics of this thing. Not, not amazing. Um, absolutely not amazing. And the funny thing is somebody was carrying this. That's the terrifying thing about all of these is that somebody was carrying this. Like somebody was out in the world and got to an airport and said, oh, damn, please don't take that from me. Yep. All right. Um, next up, we got some camouflage going on here. We have, let's see here, this has got to be assisted. Somehow it is not. SLG. Oh, God, I hope that's not engraved. I really, really desperately hope that that's not somebody's actual initials. Because if somebody got this knife engraved, that's sad in several ways. That they lost it, that they engraved it, that the knife existed, that they carried it. There's a lot of sadness here, generally speaking. And then there's... It looks like the coating of this is just coming off in a pot. That's not good. I... Yeah. Oof. Just oof. Doesn't look like it's been shopping much, but it does look like it's gotten some use. Uh, SLG, is that like an airport? Please tell me this is an airport. I don't know. They, there we go. Yeah, you can pop it loose if you just... Because there's not really any detent on this at all. Like, there's the slightest bit of detent. But yeah. Uh, check my super chat. I will do so. Um... Oh, God, strike it? Uh, am I about to strike a fire steel? Yeah, I am. Why not? Got a fire extinguisher. Hey, hey, I just saw something that approximated a spark. Okay, it's actually a fire steel sort of thing. Look at that. Are we on fire here? No. Good. Hey, okay. Beautiful. All right. That has uh, steeled the show. That's for damn sure. Back of blade. Riley, I'm not super concerned about dulling the edge right now. And the back of this thing, well, frankly, the front of this thing ain't so sharp either, but the back of it looks even less so. I suck at that. I'm doing it wrong. Why would you even... Guys, are you judging me? Are you judging me? Don't judge me. You have no idea how to use a fire steel. Has he never used one of these rods? Have you ever tried to use one of them that's this damn small? Look, I'm not good at this, okay? People, calm yourselves. Calm it down. Calm it down. All right. So, um, we have tried the fire steel, um, and you all are apparently going on strike. Um, oh, good Lord. He probably uses a lighter like the normal person. Uh, SLG. I'm sorry, SLG, that you lost your knife. Um, oh, SLG. And it looks like SLG might be a painter. Actually, looking at this guy. Oh, SLG. You know, honestly, in the grand scheme of things, there's not any blade play, vertical or horizontal. 
the liner lock works okay, and you can flip it and use enough wrist to get it open. I'm going to go on ahead and I'm going to put this in the category of this isn't so, so terrible. Like, this is a knife that a reasonable human could carry. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and put it out even further here. If SLG is out there and they have a picture of themselves holding this knife, I am more than happy to send this knife back to you along with a knife that is actually worth a damn as well. In fact, I will have something in gray. If you can show me a picture of yourself with this knife that is not photoshopped and whatnot uh, from your past, I will have something nicer engraved for you uh, with your SLG as well and send you this guy back as well. So anyways, there you go, SLG. If you're out there, I got your back. Um, so yeah. Oh boy, is this thing dirty. Like this must have just come in from... And then there's all of this damage here. AI blades, as in maybe somebody out there is designing blades using an AI. And frankly, they might do a better job than USA. Uh, horizontal blade play, no vertical. Sand the blade, that handle. Uh, Shannon's name starts with an S. Maybe you're right. Maybe SLG is Shannon. Maybe this is Shannon Le something or another. I don't know. Either way, um, yep, it's absolutely assisted. You know, this is just typical terrible knives, live fodder, except way, 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 way dirtier. That's for sure. Um, that's going to be a thing. Oof. Just oof. Yeet. All righty, moving on. Um, now we're heading into key country here. Oh, is this an actual Swiss tool? These actually aren't bad. This might be the very best thing in here, right? Um, but okay, let, let's jump into key country here. We have ourselves a bunch of fake key knives. Um, this is a whole genre of affair that, um, where basically you conceal a knife within something that looks the, the, the vaguely like a key. The bidding pattern here on this particular lock is a little inconsistent, and I don't think would quite be a thing, but hey, whatever, maybe it's like a Medico or something, I don't know. Either way, um, we have ourselves quite the, um, yeah, quite the little blade going on here. Uh, and then we have what appears to be two duplicates of the exact same item. This one, this one's been sharpened, which terrifies me slightly. And this little guy, yep, same exact affair. This one's even dirtier. All right, um, yeah, okay. So we got ourselves a couple of these guys. Are they terrible? Yeah. Are they the worst thing ever? No, not really. Oh, vertical and horizontal play. Oh, boy, is there horizontal play. Yay. And, uh, yeah, these may actually be illegal depending on eh, a little less vertical play or a little less horizontal play. Eh, these may be illegal depending on your state, as it could be a knife masquerading as another tool. Um, right here we have this guy, and this one, unfortunately, says best friend. Now, I'm kind of hoping deeply that this is actually the brand of the knife. Like, this is best friend to brand knives someplace rather than somebody got this engraved um and it was given to their best friend looking at the amount of wear on this guy look at the amount of wear right around the outside here this looks like it was actually carried for a long time um this is wow this looks like it's had a lot of love this was somebody's best friend for a while there um i don't know exactly what's going on. I gotta be honest with you, the blade shape's not unattractive, right? It's got a little bit of a clip pointy thing to it. This this part of this is actually not an unattractive design, but uh, yeah, please send me that best friend knife. Slicey dicey, I will do that just for you, my friend. I will do that for you. Um, yeah, but I, anyways, I, I very much hope that whoever's best friend this was got a, uh, got enough use out of it that they, and they were able to find themselves a new best friend down the road there. So, uh, yeah, there you go. Slicey, that's all yours at some point. I'll probably soak it in something first, just for you. Okay, what else do we have? Oh, another one of these guys. So this is, I don't know if it's a real deal or a, a fakie, but this is a Swiss Tech Utility. This is actually something I've reviewed as a real item. Although, holy crap, open. Uh, getting this guy undone is not straightforward with these gloves on at least oh slicey thank you for the friendship bracelet that is of course a joke although who knows maybe someday um 
let's go ahead. Come on, get pop the pot here. Maybe the guy at the freaking auction house couldn't open it, so that's why he sent it along here. Why is this not coming apart? Maybe it's rusted shut. That actually feels like a very real possibility here, that this guy is just rusted so far shut that it's not coming apart. So that whole song and dance I was just doing a few minutes ago about, oh, this could actually be good, this is a nice tool, could actually be completely a ruse, right? Um, could be all for naught. Let's go ahead and try one more time here. Um, punctures, gloves, and fingers. Yeah, ain't that the truth? It's in the freaking hot zone over here. Oh, it, I think we're getting it. We are almost there, my friends. Yeah, you can see a fair amount of rust up in there. Oof. Hi, seagulls. They're back. There we go. Hey, 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 we're, 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 we're working it. We're making progress here. Yeah, so there's a fair amount of rust involved here, and that was the thing keeping this guy closed. But uh, in practice, um, these little tools aren't so terrible, right? They provide you a little bit of knife, a little bit of serration, a cap lifter of sorts, a little uh, Phillips head screw, a little flathead. And there are definitely worse tools out there in the world, um, especially when they're not rusted shut. But um, yeah, it's a, it's a fair little approach. Um, soak it in WD-40 and send it my way. Um, that could be a possibility. Yeah, you can send it to one of those uh, restoration channels, like freaking Tissy Tube or something like that. It's a, oh, God, my entire being is covered in dirt here from doing this. Okay, so um, there we go. Let's jump onto this little guy right here. Have we finished the keys? We finished the keys. That is the key to happiness right there is key knives. Um, let's go on ahead and... Um, oh, I thought this would be assisted. So this has substantial vertical and horizontal blade play. It is not assisted, which is good. It has a pocket peck of par excellence, only when opened. So it's like a, you have to, yeah, so it's like a lazy flipper. It is a Tonto blade. That's certainly something. It's surprisingly heavy. I wish I could explain to you just, you know, how heavy this guy is without getting my scale covered in some variety of schmutz or another. But it's... Not trivial. Like, I, I'm thinking these scales are made of osmium or something like that. That's that's serious. But, yeah. That's... Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All righty. Now we got this guy right here. This appears to be a pretty ergonomic piece. Um. Oh, that's terrifying. As I use... Oh, God. I'd like to highlight right here this action. Well, okay. I guess there's a reason it was free from the TSA, right? Um, that's a... Yeah. So we'll just go on ahead and reattach that. Um, it's going to be a great fixer-upper for your rescaling. There appears to be no stop pin, so it just hits right there on the blade. That's good. Um, yeah. Rubber cement. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. It does have a look of rubber cement to it, doesn't it? Eesh. Either way, um, blade is actually pretty thinly ground. That's good. At least that's, that's something, right? Uh, there's no thumb stud. Maybe it was removed. It's a back lock. Um, putting aside the fact that the handle's coming off in my hand, it doesn't appear to be wanting to unlock unnaturally. Uh, some horizontal blade play, no vertical. Yeah, that's going to be a situation. All right. Yay. All righty. Next guy here is going to be, um, oh, we have ourselves a pair of folding box cutters. Let's, let's just go there. Um, okay. I don't understand you know, the DSA, generally speaking, right? I mean, security theater, I understand that part of it, but I don't understand large parts of it. But my bigger question right now, at this very specific moment, is why in God's name did they take this away? This has no blade. There are no blades in it. This is just a piece of metal. But they took it away. Oh, 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 you can just slide the blade in here. 
So for some reason, somebody was sufficiently scared of this completely empty device that they... Okay. Yeah. What's that on there? Let's go ahead and grab another sanitary wipe here. Not the kind that people are paying 500 bucks for. People, don't. Don't be idiots. Or at least be idiots someplace else. All right. Um, let's go on ahead and... Well, we're at it here. The... Ugh, myself a little bit. But yeah, this appears to be a fine little um, tool in this way. Oh, and then that actually serves as a thumb stud. But And when you use it that way, it doesn't unlock. Okay, it's not so bad. It's not so bad at all. All right. Might have had a blade in it originally, but why not just take the blade? It's the thing. I, I just don't care. Or they took the blade to keep. That's actually a very real possibility. That the DSA agent held on to the blade and then decided, eh, we'll get rid of this. I don't know. Either way, um, you know what? It seems like a reasonable approach, so we'll throw that over there. Then we got this guy over here. Is this... Come on, open. This is a plastic clip. Okay. Why aren't you opening? Okay. Am I being some kind of an idiot here? I mean, probably. The bigger question is, what kind of an idiot am I going to be? Let's pop this loose. Okay. Almost. No, never mind. Ah, there we are. Ah, My God, that's terrible. If that's the action we're dealing with here. See, this one at least has a blade, right? Eh, blade's in good shape. Only one side of it's really been used. But this thing is freaking awful. Like, the, the, the action of getting this in and out of there is just... I tell you what it is. Yeet! And we'll go on ahead and we'll throw this blade over here into the Titan. The Battle of the Titan has been won. There we go. Beautiful. Perfect. Mm, okay. Uh, where are we at now? We have ourselves this guy right here. I feel like these could be brothers. Um, this is maybe the folding version. Is this Winchester too? No, probably not, but it's probably the exact same factory making them. Winchester just bought these guys and put their brand on it. Ay, ay, ay. Either way, um, we have ourselves a pocket knife here. It's a liner lock. The action on it is actually not so bad, all told. Absolutely freaking disgusting in every meaningful way. Serious blade play, yes. Oh, boy, yes. Uh, centering is way off. Tip down only, of course. Seriously heavy. Yeah, yeah. Does it lock? Yeah, it locks. Okay, that's good. <laughs> All right, um, moving on. Uh, what do we have? Oh, I missed this guy. Oh, this is sad. It's still in its packaging. <laughs> F. <laughs> F indeed. I like how they didn't even do the full name. They just did F. Sorry, I'm just trying to scratch my freaking nose. F. Just like press F to pay respect to F in this guy. Um... I, wow, is this just a gift shop so lazy that they didn't do, like they didn't even bother? And then you can get fun name facts. Scan QR code or visit namefacts.info. Oh, yes. You can get all kinds of name facts there. Oh, good God. Now everybody's pressing F to pay their respects. Nice. Uh, so this is brand new in box. You know what? I'm actually going to put this guy back into said box. And F might become a thing. So we're going to put F over there for a little bit there. Let him do his own little affair. All right. Um, here we have Creative Kitchens. Barlow. I don't think that's a Barlow, actually. Pretty sure that's a clip point. But maybe some of the classical, uh, traditional knife people. Okay, we can stop pressing F in chat, by the way. Um, yeah, it was probably a gift for some poor kid named F, right? 
God, can you imagine how hard it's going to be for that kid's teachers? Like passing back papers. Okay, F. Like, oh, no, 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 you got a B. Oh, good. Yeah, anyways, um, this looks like it has been used to sharpen a pencil. Actually, seeing these little lines right here, that's what you get when you sharpen a carpenter's pencil. So that's something. And we can assume that the person was right-handed because it's coming down off of this side here. So that's good. Um, yes, yeah, so we got ourselves a, um, yeah, there's that. Um, Barlow, yeah. It's actually relatively thin. Edge on it's okay. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put this in the not so, well, hold on. Is there play? Oh, there's play. Never mind. There's substantial play there. It's not so terrible, but um, I got to say, the creative kitchens here, not necessarily blowing me away. Uh, let's see. I'm trying to scratch my damn nose without... Yeah. Oy, oy, oy. I must have accidentally cut my freaking self somehow or another there. Uh, we got this guy right here. This is a leader. Oh, yeah, leader. I gotta say, I'm digging the uh, little brass inlay there. That's that's actually a, that's a little classy touch. Right there, you can see the inside of the backlock mechanism. This appears to have a ball bearing stuck in it, which is weird, right? Oh, what? No, damn it. Why? What is it with me and ball bearings going everywhere? No, get away from my balls, bearing. There we go. Okay. Yes, yeah, so we have ourselves a ball bearing in there. No, or is it like an airsoft pellet? Uh, no, it's uh, it's translucent. I have no idea what this is, but I'm a little afraid of it. I'm going to be honest with you. So, um, yeah. Okay, so we have ourselves a leader. I'm going to go on ahead and, um, no, oh, hold on. How's our, oh, God, that's a lot of blade play. That's a lot of blade play. They are not leading a damn thing. Chisel ground. Yeah, I'm thinking the leader is a little bit more of a, uh, a leader. And uh, we have ourselves a knockoff Kershaw leak from Sheffield. That's not assisted. Oh, God, that's, that's terrible in every way. It's not exactly a knockoff, but everyone's looking at it. It's a dab pearl. I have no idea what that means. Um, yeah, delicious boba. Oh, silica gel. That's actually a pretty good idea. Um, yeah. I gotta say the finishing ain't so bad, but uh, the rest of it is just pretty awful right here. Not feeling that. Uh, does it have any redeeming quality? No, ye. All right, um, let's see here. This is disgusting. USF. I think I know USF. What is USF? Is that a federal credit? It's a credit union? Am I making that up? USF? Either way, I'm going to go ahead and clean this off a little bit before we go any further. Um, uh, come on. Oof. What on earth is this? Give me the shiny. <laughs> God. Oh, Connor, you have a problem, my friend. Wah. I have no idea what's on here, but I know I'm just getting increasingly... Like, Chris... So, okay, there's this video game that I, I played at one point in time when I had time to do video games before I had a channel. Um, it, it's called Kingdom of Loathing. Entertaining game. Um, but it, it's sort of a... It, it makes fun of a lot of your uh, World of Warcraft sorts of things. And in a lot of your role-playing games, right, we talk about, uh, you know, fire damage. I've talked about this before. This is a knife that is making me take sleaze damage right now. Like, I feel like maybe this entire video is just making me take huge amounts of sleaze damage. I'm going to need to walk out of here and take, like, ten showers in rapid succession and then, like, decontaminate myself by having my wife spray me down with bleach. So, um, yeah, kids, that's not an act good decontamination procedure, just saying. But anyways, that's, that's not good. Um, yeah, I know, old school. Absolutely old school. <laughs> USF! USF! Yeah, this is like a fake buck 110 of some variety or another. Um, stainless china, covered in... Oof. Clean your stuff, people. Like, the action on it's not so... Uh, it's mostly the crap inside it. This is like... I feel like there's hoarding involved at some point in this process, right? 
Like, whoever owns this knife probably has a great many newspapers that are his or her treasure. And that's not good. But yeah, so the knife itself isn't so bad, but oh boy, is it kind of disgusting. I'm going to go ahead and put it over there. Got this little guy, which is... Oh! Is that lock? No, it's not meant to, but the action on this is so bad. This may be actually literally the worst action I've ever felt on a pocket knife. Because it's not that it's like consistently gritty. It's like it's awful, but also awful, but also... Yeah, this is... Ugh. Yeah. It's getting a little better, but uh, handmade stainless steel Pakistan. Um, that's always a good sign with cutlery. That's not always a good sign. Looks like it's been... The steel is delaminating from the looks of it, which is funny because I don't think this is laminate steel. But it looks like parts of this steel are flaking off at the moment. Country checks out. Uh, then we got ourselves some bone over here, which I'm not even going to ask what species that's from. Because the world's most dangerous game might be a thing. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's awful. Oh, God, and the bones rattle. Yeet. Yeah, I'm done. I'm done. And that leaves us with this object right here. I believe that this is what is referred to as a Kubaton. Uh, thank you, Alakin. Um, <laughs> a Kubaton. This is supposedly a, um, a, a pressure point device such that you can poke people who are, are in some way displeasing you. Um, what's the action like on it? Um, it's ribbed. Uh, the, the ribbing is definitely present. Uh, I feel like that could be appealing to some people. Put a little ripcord on here and just... But nonetheless, it's a, um, it's a Kubaton. That's the official story here. Uh, pressure point tool. It is not actually plastic. This is metal. This is a solid chunk of some kind of metal or another, um, which is impressive. Um, yeah, Kubaton. Looks like it's in pretty good shape, actually. Just in case, I'm going to go on ahead and do a precautionary cleaning after I've handled this guy extensively. You never know, you know, where these kinds of things have been. Um, lick it. Absolutely not. <laughs> oh my God, no. It, no, say, no, no, <laughs> no. Oh, wow. Yeah. Wow. So, you know what? Ah, uh, you've served me well, yeah. And get rid of that a little bit. And then just kind of, yeah. We have a whole bunch of stuff that we've discovered today. We've discovered some good stuff. The utility, which actually is now rattling now that I broke it apart from the rust. Oh, damn it, my freaking iPad closed. And now Face ID isn't working because I'm wearing a Batman mask. I can't see the comments. There we go. So we got this guy, which is actually not so, so terrible here. What does the color fade on that mean to me? I just don't know. Maybe this up here is the danger zone. I, I feel like that up there is the danger zone. Uh, we've got ourselves the SLC, uh, SLG, I'm sorry, SLG, please feel free to reach out to me. We have ourselves the best friend, the Winchester fixed blade, which I might need to clean up and find some kind of usage for. We have ourselves, press F for Sydney. Um, we have ourselves Probably the nicest piece of gear that we've come across here today, and that is the Yosemite here. The Yosemite is pretty impressive, although, God, will I need to soak this in something. Uh, before that's going anywhere near my mouth, we've got its its companion, its its amicable life partner, the Nautica, over here. And we have ourselves a striker, which apparently I can't use. Yay. And we have ourselves the uh, the, 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 the nail, uh, nail clipper from uh, your, your Hankles. She's pretty... Oh, good God, people. This is not Twitch, okay? You can calm it down. We don't need the cappers at the moment. Um, but nonetheless, uh, yeah, with our nail clipper right here, which is actually reasonably well done. 
Then on the, eh, maybe it's not terrible. We have the Titan over here. We have uh, the Route 66. But the Route 66 was pretty heavily outclassed by Shannon. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put Shannon in that other pile there. Shannon definitely won the Swiss Army War. We have ourselves a compact Yosemite over here. We have ourselves the Ozark Trail sort of affair, which, in retrospect, yeet. Did it land in there? Good. Okay. Excellent. We have ourselves this little guy, which, again, in retrospect, now that Shannon's in play, yeet. Uh, yeah, Shannon wins. Then there's the, the lion bear, the man bear pig over here. That's definitely a situation. We have this little guy, which isn't so, so terrible. The USF, 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 a Gerber pair of frame in reasonable condition. The creative kitchen over here, and then one of these guys, and then a perfectly serviceable gigantic freaking key ring over here. Yeah. And the Route 66. So we've got, oh, and then of course, the Jin Lee, which is perhaps the most unique piece that we've come across today. Oh, Jin Lee, what are you doing with yourself, Jin Lee? Why are you a thing? Anyways, um, Chris, thank you for the decontamination procedures I'm about to undergo. I appreciate deeply the amount of sleaze damage I've taken today. I hope you've all enjoyed this process here. Um, it, 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 I would say the resounding message from this, the, what this should teach you, is that when you buy a bunch of knives that the TSA stole from people, you are going to get exactly the kind of knives that people would let the TSA steal. Uh, there were no Sibenzas in here. There was not a Grimsmo Norseman. There were no other particular items in here. But um, it, 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 there, there were a couple of other situations that were not so terribly tragic. But for the most part, that was a whole bunch of junk with a whole bunch of dirt and particulate and ugliness that I'm going to be spending the next six years of my life trying to clean off of myself. That's, oh, that's a situation. But, um... Oh, I'm going to go ahead and take off these gloves because, come on, no, oh. yeah, that'll need decontamination. But anyways, I hope you found this interesting, that you enjoyed uh, coming along with me on this, oh, good God, hour and a half journey, and that you uh, have yourselves just an absolutely wonderful and safe and healthy and calm and not panicking rest of your day, everybody. Um, please, please, please. Take your knife out of your pocket before you fly, or else it's going to end up hanging out with Jin Lee over here. Have an absolutely wonderful rest of your day. Bye now.